It's everyone's friend, it's Tyler. It's everyone's friend, it's Tyler. Hey guys, Tyler here. For my last few videos, I've been talking about nothing but the radical left in regards to video games, and so this video is gonna be a bit different. For this video, I'm gonna talk about the top five epic fails of President Donald Trump. Before I start this video, I first want to state that this video is not, of course, a direct attack against Trump supporters. It's entirely possible to respect people who are Trump supporters and judge them on an individual basis. I also want to state that I am not part of the Republican Party or the Democrat Party. I'm simply politically homeless. And so for this criticism, I'm going at it from a non partisan point of view because I think there's like a lot of stuff that our president have done that was just absolutely abysmal since 2016 and so here's my personal thoughts, my personal feelings about the whole entire issue when it comes down to President Donald Trump. At number five of course is the issue of free speech. Donald Trump is just absolutely abysmal when it comes down to this particular issue. On Twitter, Donald Trump said that he wanted to criminalize burning the American flag and also stated that those who burn the American flag should also lose their citizenship and that they committed an act of treason. Honestly, this whole entire idea that people do not have the right to burn whatever property that they want is just outright abhorrent. Yes, the action of burning the American flag is just terrible. However, it has been legal for this country for a very long time, thanks to cases like the Supreme Court. And so basically, people also are protected within their rights to burn the American flag. And nobody, and I do mean nobody, need to revoke their citizenship just because they burnt the American flag. Not only did Donald Trump did not want people to burn the American flag, but he also managed to threaten those who made fun of him. The most famous example of Donald Trump threatening those that made fun of him is of course Bill Maher, where basically he sued Bill Maher just because of a joke. I am dead serious. So. He also stated on to like Twitter that he did not like people making fun of him on Saturday Night Live. And of course, on the issue of more free speech, he also managed to try to sue those that made bad advertisement against him. Do not let people fool you that Donald Trump is actually a free speech president, when in reality, Donald Trump has been proving himself since 2016 that he does not care at all when it comes down to free speech. At number four, of course, is the issue of video games. Donald Trump is an absolute boomer when it comes down to this whole entire issue of whether or not people should play video games or not. There are some people who believe that Donald Trump is actually the pro-gamer president. However, his actions every single time went after video games. Basically, Donald Trump stated that video games are the cause of mass shootings. Also, on the White House YouTube page, there was like a whole entire clip show of various violent video games throughout the whole entire clip. And of course, they used that as an example of how violence can actually influence shooters to shoot up places. He also had like a meeting about whether or not video games cause violence. And so on the issue of video games, Donald Trump is just absolutely abysmal on this whole issue. Of course, there are studies and studies and studies that prove that video games do not cause any sort of violence. And the only people, the only real people who actually say this kind of stuff are just out of touch boomers who have no idea how things work nowadays. On the issue of science, 
Donald Trump is not that great either. Like, basically, he has done stuff that actually went against climate change. For example, he stated in like some sort of speech or whatever that of course climate change was actually a false hoax created by the Chinese. After he said that climate change was a hoax created by the Chinese, he basically pulled out the Paris Accord where a bunch of nations were coming together to fight against climate change. And of course, the United States was actually one of the few countries that did not support that cause. Let us not also forget that the vice president that Donald Trump picked is actually a creationist. Now basically creationists are these wacky people who believe that of course the earth is like 6,000 years old. They also believe that literally everything that happens in Genesis is literally true. And so, when it comes down to that kind of issue, of course, the vice president is not fit to be part of science. However, as I speak right now, the vice president is actually in charge of the whole entire coronavirus task force. Speaking about the coronavirus, like Donald Trump basically stated that if you inject yourself with Lysol, that's actually going to cure yourself of the coronavirus. And oh my god, that whole entire stuff was just terrible. It was like so bad that everybody, and I do mean everybody, called him out for that kind of nonsense because there's no evidence that Lysol can actually prevent you from not having the coronavirus. At number two, of course, is this whole entire birther movement. Now basically, people like Donald Trump and Clinton basically formed this whole entire movement where they practically said that Obama is not American, he is not born in America, so we should not have Obama as president of the whole entire United States. And of course, that's not true because basically Obama was born in the state of Hawaii, but for some strange reason, for some strange reason, both Donald Trump and Clinton stated that Obama was not American and therefore he cannot be president of the whole entire United States. That to me seems really, really ridiculous if there's actually proof of the birth certificate of somebody being born in the United States. Obviously, they're American. To say that someone cannot run because they're not born here, because they, of course, you know, was born here, it's just ridiculous to me. But what do I know? At number one, of course, is the issue of marijuana. There has been many states throughout the whole entire country that actually legalized marijuana for both medical use as well as, of course, recreational use. However, Donald Trump himself actually been attacking marijuana since the time he'd been president. For example, he actually hired like Jeff Sessions to actually be like in charge for a bit before he was actually, you know, decided to quit. And of course, Jeff Sessions was actually against marijuana and people using marijuana and actually wanted to use the government to go after those who actually used the drug. Also, the new House Secretary for Donald Trump made various different comments against marijuana. And obviously, if a person wants to, of course, use marijuana at their home or whatever, personally, I have no issue with this sort of issue. Because I think ultimately that all drugs should be legalized because I don't think that the state actually have a right to tell people what to put in their body and what also not to put in their body. And also, I think this whole entire issue about the war on drugs has cost many lives. And so basically, by making drugs illegal, you actually create a black market where people actually get hurt and actually get killed because of that black market. Not to mention like millions and millions of people who are potentially in jail right now because it's this whole entire ridiculous nonsense. And so I don't think that a drug user is like the same sort of level as a person that murder or rape or like a pedophile. I think drug users, to a lesser extent, are actually way better than those kind of people. So to me at least, it does not make any sense that Donald Trump actually has many people that go against marijuana. 
So there you have it. That's my list of the top five failures for Donald Trump. And of course, like, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you don't like this video, thumb it down. I honestly do not care either way. And also, when you watch this video, please, 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 please do not attack people for supporting Donald Trump. I think everybody is entitled to their own personal political opinions, and I think no one should be attacked just because they have like a different political opinion. Like I've seen stories and stories and stories of people being attacked because they had the Trump hat. So please guys, actually treat Trump supporters like literal humans and not attack people just because they have a political opinion that's different than yours. Also, do not become passive aggressive just because somebody has a different opinion than yours. Like I just absolutely hate it when people are just so passive aggressive just because you do not think the same way as they do. So if you have a discussion with a Trump supporter or any supporter of different candidates, do not become passive aggressive and actually be adults about the whole entire matter and have a civil conversation. So what do you guys think? Tell me in the comment section down below, and I'll talk to you guys next time. It's everyone's friend, it's Tyler. It's everyone's friend, it's Tyler.